everyone welcome back to what watch to wear um, today we're going to be opening up our happy birthday mystery box number four from watch gang uh, today we're wearing our level two uh, prize from the wheel from watch gang so it's the duke sot watch that we got last time with the leather strap pretty i'm starting to like it a lot it's starting to grow on me a little bit more of a you know more of a I think the leather band and the gold make it look a little more like an evening type of, you know, watch to wear. So anyhow, let's get to this uh, box opening. And once again, please subscribe, like, share, comment. Tell me what you guys want to see in some future videos. If you don't mind, um, give me an idea of what you'd like to see. Um, please be courteous in the comments, you know. Uh, not We're not here to knock watch brands or watch gang or how anybody buys their watches or anything like that so you know just uh just people that love watches so we're gonna take a look here you know see what we got today and uh anyhow um please subscribe if you would and turn your notifications on because we're gonna try to build this channel as quickly as possible when we get to a thousand subscribers i will do a giveaway of my own and then hopefully we can get some sponsorship at some point in time to uh, help promote the channel and do some bigger and better giveaways. The bigger the channel grows, the more likelihood that we'll have those opportunities. So, <laughs> go see, go figure. Um, got another Duke Sot watch. Um, so, starting to wonder if Watch Game offers any other brands. So, uh, uh, this is kind of a little weird, but uh, Watch Gang, you're starting to let me down a little bit here. I mean, not knocking you i really like your service but um maybe you ought to look a little more into what watches your members are receiving and make sure you don't bombard them with all of one brand over and over and over again so anyhow let's take a look here and see what we got duke saw watch oh wow first impressions nice so let's see what we got here let's see Oh, there's a warranty card. Uh, let's see here. Warranty card, instruction booklet. Yeah. All the finer things in there. Yeah. So extra strap, silicone. Yeah. Silicone rubber strap. Extra. Wire mesh strap on this one. It's pre pre installed on it. Let's get some plastic off of here. Take a look at it. It's not a see through display back or anything. So. Let's see what we got here. I don't see a paper stub around the uh, around it, so I'm assuming this is an automatic movement as well. I'm starting to see a trend here with Luxot and these automatic movements, so that's always nice to know. So get some of this off here. Wow. Plastics on there, good. <laughs> Says to pull at the arrow. Well, <laughs> maybe Hercules could, but yeah, not, not here. This this is this is a little little more than than you would think. So yeah, I could just pass it in here. I've got some boxes falling down over here. Wow. So okay. All right. Let's see what kind of nice clasp. There we go. Okay, got all that plastic off. Get this off the front so we can take a look at the be bezel and everything. Well, that was wrapped all the way around. So, okay. That was kind of weird. Compared to the other ones they've sent me, that was definitely different. So. Maybe they want to protect this one a little extra or something. Who knows? Take a look here. Okay. This is a model number. Let's see what we got. This is a DX201122. Okay. So, where we got this? This one up and up. There we go. All right. Now we've got that all off. 
Yeah, it's another blue diver watch. Looks nice. This is a, uh, what is this? This is a Duxo Principio. I hope I said that right. Um, diameter of the case is 40 millimeters. Thickness is 13.5 millimeters. That's a little thicker than, you know, the other ones I've gotten. Lens is sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating again. The dial appears to be a deep blue. The band is a stainless steel mesh band with a solid deployment buckle. Yeah. With a push button and safety clasp and extra plus an extra um, silicone strap with stainless steel buckle down in here. Uh, movement is a self-winding Japanese automatic movement with date display. So yeah, we got our date display there. Oh, the automatic's already starting to go. <sighs> it's a stainless steel case with a ceramic insert turning bezel with luminous marker. Let's see, is this... So, let's see if we... The last time we had a diver's watch, it was a little tough to turn. And this one seems to be the case as well. It's a little tough to turn with this one. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely stiff. So, maybe they could wheel these up or something in the future. There it goes. It's starting to spin now. Yeah, there it goes. It broke free. Okay, so. Maybe that just initial movement of it. Okay. It's not loose or anything. It's still a tight bezel. It's just moved a little slower on us. So, okay. For any of you that don't know how to set these properly or whatever, this is a screw down crown over here. So, it's got the Dukesot emblem over here. Maybe a D or something. I don't know. But anyhow, first you unscrew it. You know, just do that like you would lefty, righty, left, lefty, loosey, righty, tidy, you know. So anyhow, it has a, this is position one. So as soon as it comes out, it's in position one. So in position one was where you would do some winding. You wind it clockwise. You should do that, you know, 15, 20 times, just the beginning. It'll put pressure on the spring. It won't be enough to kick it in to start moving. You'll actually have to shake the watch to get it to move. Or in this case, I had to move my watch around for it to move. So anyhow, we'll wind it up here a little bit. So pull it out one spot two spots so that that's actually spot three i'm in and you go clockwise and you can set your time you go back to spot two which is the middle spot and counterclockwise well, let's get this in a better spot so spot two and you go counterclockwise and it should set the date well I went back to the white spot here we go there we go spot two set the date so once again spot one is wind Spot two, counterclockwise for date. Spot three, clockwise for time. And then all the way in and screw the bezel down. You have to push on it and turn. Make sure it's all the way down for your waterproofing function. Um, that'll give you your solid waterproofing there. Don't, don't get this in the water without that screwed in. You know, you could damage your watch if that's not screwed in. And this has a diving depth of 200 meters, so, you know. You don't want to mess that up at all. So anyhow, that's position zero when it's screwed in all the way. So you have a position zero. When you first unscrew it, it'll be position one. Pull out one spot, be position two for your date. Position three is all the way out for your time. So position one, you wind it for if you're, you know, 15, 20 times when you first get your watch. And then you just give it a shake like that and your movement will start going. So, anyhow, it looks really good. Let's see what the loom on this thing looks like. I don't think I did the loom on my last video with the with the uh, level 2 wheel spin watch we got, but that's okay. Uh, we'll take a look at this loom. Oh, that loom looks nice. Can you all see that? That loom looks really nice. So... It shows up really good. I'm liking it. It looks like a glowing like a bluish color even. So maybe it's green and the blue's picking up on it really good. I don't know, but the loom definitely looks really nice. Um, let's see here. You guys, I guess you guys can see that really good. That that's picking up real well, you know. 
and uh my hand's pretty dark in there so you know covering up like that i mean you can see it's a dark hole we're looking into that looms really showing up really good so yeah yeah this is a nice wash i like the mesh band but i think for me i would prefer to put the band from my original platinum sub on here you know i I, I don't know about the mesh band for me. I don't know if it would be for me. I don't think it looks bad. I just don't know if it's for me, per se. So, anyhow. Watch Gang, I think you did a really good job. This watch says it uh, retails for $820 on the Duke's Oak website. Grand. Once again, I believe Duke's Oak overinflates all their prices, from what I'm seeing. But, um, but that's alright. Still has a nice Japanese automatic movement. Uh all in all, nice watch. It has nice, decent features. You know, you get into luxury items with the automatic movements. So, you know, I don't think we're being ripped off by any means for what we put into these watches. But, but yeah, the, the price they're asking is definitely overinflated. I did see this selling on eBay for $400. So, that's not, you know, a shabby watch for... For what you're getting, especially eBay being a you know more of an auction site than an actual retail site, so that that's a good sign. Anyhow, um, once again, you can you can look at these on Duke's Oats website, and uh, you can get this watch on Watch Gang as well. No, not here to sponsor anybody or anything, but you know I'm fairly pleased with Watch Gang. I'm going to leave. My link to Watch Gang in the description below. So if anybody wants to sign up for Watch Gang, they can. I'll even try to find some promo codes to throw on there. Maybe get you a little bit of discount if you want to sign up for Watch Gang. And I'll leave uh, the promo code and so forth and let you know what the promo code's good for. So anyhow, Watch Gang, yeah, once again, an fine job. I'm happy. Just hopefully next time we get a different brand. So anyhow, we've got one more watch on the way. It's a level one wheel spin so we'll see what's in that box um i'd be happy to see but once again this is mystery box four from the happy birthday celebration so the next one would be the happy birthday celebration uh, level one wheel spin so anyhow till then you all take care have a good day goodbye